for more, let's speak to Scott Lucas, a professional of international, professor rather, of international politics at the University of Birmingham. Hi, Scott. What do you Hi. make of this result? I mean, some are saying it shows approval for Trump. Others are arguing that she had to fight so hard to win in a staunchly Republican area that it actually shows disapproval. Which is it? Uh, well, first, the basic fact that the Republican majority shrank from 23 percent last November to just under 4 percent this time around. So it was a close run thing. I think it does two things to answer your question, though. First, I think it gives Republicans in Congress a bit of breathing space. Had Karen Handel lost, I think this would have been a sign that the Democrats could take both houses in 2018, and it would have put the GOP on the defensive, even over the attempt to repeal Obamacare. But secondly, I don't think it gives Trump any breathing space. Uh, I think that this victory was achieved despite Trump. Uh, his, you know, the Republicans have held this seat for more than four decades. And I think within 24, 48, 72 hours, the headlines will move back away from Georgia to Trump and Russia and the various investigations of him. So again, I think individual Republican congressmen can think, OK, we've avoided our own personal nightmares, but the nightmare in the White House probably continues. How do you think Trump will feel, though, or does he feel now? Do you think he feels emboldened by this win, or is he realizing that, hey, I don't have the grip um, even over the most staunchly Republican areas that uh, were, was once there? I think if you read Twitter, you know the answer to that, because he was immediately on it talking about this great victory for the Republicans, despite the slim majority, despite the fact that he couldn't even spell Karen Handel's name correctly. This was a vindication of him. Donald Trump never admits weakness, and why should we expect it in this case? But the fact is, is that the question in the next few months will not be whether Trump and the White House are marching hand in hand with the GOP. It's whether the White House becomes isolated by further revelations, further investigations, while the Republicans, to save themselves, start to put more and more distance between themselves and the president. Okay. Scott Lucas, joining us live there from Birmingham. Thanks so much, as always.